Welcome back to RimWorld, where we continue to work on our ship. Uh, we actually are building the computer core. We have new lovers. Codex and Ariel have hooked up here at the very end game. I have gone ahead and given Codex a new bed preemptively. Let's get Ariel moved in. There you go. Enjoy that, guys. Have fun with the, the last moments on the planet. Um, so we have a bedroom open now. Where was Ariel sleeping? I honestly have no idea. We're building one down here, which I guess we don't actually need any. Let's give Sev Ariel's bedroom if we can find it. Yeah, here, this one. And then we can convert Sev's back to storage for now. I think the other bedroom I was building was for Catherine, who should be growing up very soon. Um, so hopefully that bedroom over there is ready and we can leave this one as just a storage room. It's a fairly small bedroom anyway, so I think leaving that alone is not bad. Um, uh, anything else going on here? Her needs to go into a pod. Kubler's in a pod currently. Ends in 13 hours. We got Perry out, so Perry's done. Uh, the base is a complete shithole of overstock nonsense. Let's put her in then. Overdue by 2.7 days, sure. Uh, yeah, because Kirsten's still around to do baby duties, so per age reverse and per is also one we can just you know have age reverse and not have to worry about it um so that's good we did rebuild the workshop i don't remember if i mentioned this last episode i think i talked about it probably and didn't include it i i'm not gonna check um we've got new integrators we've got new uh processor to support that and then yeah second fab bench in this weird, awkward, overly crowded workroom that is the weirdest shape room I've ever built in a RimWorld playthrough. Uh, like, by far. But, uh, you know what gets the job done, and that's the big thing that matters. So, basically, we're just waiting for advanced component production. Um, and yeah, uh, that should be it. We can get off this damn planet. I'm sure it's going to take long enough that we'll have some more raids. I want to remember to test this out. I keep forgetting that we have this built, the Megaman. And we need to check it out. We need to test it at least once on a raid. So, um, hopefully I'm not setting you up for disappointment by forgetting about it, but we're going to try and use that. Well, this is pretty annoying at the end here. It's been quite a while since we've uh, had one of these pop up. So, Rena's gotten the wimp trait. I never removed this mod, even though it was uh, discussed in the comments as being pretty shit. And in practice, yeah, it's only really messed with us. Um... It doesn't matter if she doesn't get shot. So, like... Fine. Rena, Her last name's Curry? Rena Curry? I never realized that. Interesting. Well, whatever. It's fine. Well, well, well. We have a siege coming in. This seems like the perfect time to uh, test out our thing. And blast them with our big special weapon. So why don't we... Well, the game's going to be pretty sluggish till they get into position, I think, here at this stage. So why don't we just... Uh, yeah, wait for them to find out where they want to set up. Probably right here, though. Okay, uh, they picked up their spot. We're going to blast them with this now. No, no, no. This thing causes EMPs. So I don't know if this is going to really fuck us over, but let's try it out and see what happens. Um, it's entirely possible that it ends up destroying either, if, if it touches the ship, if this is such a massive blast that it touches the ship, we're going to reload. Uh, I think if it EMPs us and shuts down our guns and stuff, that probably doesn't matter. Maybe if it shuts down the reactor and, like, our power bleeds out, maybe then we're in trouble if we're not able to reboot the reactor, but let's just test it out. This might be the only good opportunity we get to test it, so... Well, that's a sound, all right. Perry, excuse me, what are you doing? Gathering steel chunk. No, that's really bad. You shouldn't do that. Uh, let's let this door be opened, actually. Perry, report to the front line, I think, and just sit there and wait. Where are you going? Oh, you're building. That's fine, yeah. Okay, uh, any, any moment now. What's the charge time on this fucker? 60, 70, okay, okay. It's probably fine. They haven't even got their equipment yet. What the fuck is that anime shit? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! Did 
Yeah, they're fleeing all right. Uh, okay, so that solar flared the whole base, but that single-handedly defeated the siege. So that's um worthwhile. Holy fuck, dude. That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, thank you for coming, everybody. All the doors are back open. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, that was ridiculous. That was the most preposterous thing I've seen in quite a while. All right, uh, Perry, 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 Perry. Your, do your new job is to... Yeah, bandwidth is going to be temporarily down. Let's uh, salvage some of these bodies if we can, maybe. Just uh, strip them for parts. Strip them for stuff to salvage. Okay, we got an absolute shitfuck pile of tribals coming in. Three separate groups trying to avoid turret fire, so I've turned the turrets off. At least temporarily, I don't know if it actually matters. Wait, I haven't turned the tur turrets off, because this one is still turned on. I turned them both on in case the, li the line got breached. Um, okay, well, at the point that they're coming to the kill box anyway, then I don't think it matters, right? Like, at that point... It's fine. Uh, per, you're gonna go do a bath. That's fine. Nobody brought a baby to the front line, right? Yeah, nobody brought a baby in. Great. We're missing... Oh, Mookie's on mental break? Yeah, Mookie's on mental break. Let's make sure we get the site there in here to contribute. Great. Well, okay. I was a little... I thought this might be a little more interesting if they actually did try to avoid the turrets, but... Since it seems like they're unable to actually find a place to go without turrets, they don't care, I guess. So, uh, it's just going to be your usual tribal slaughter, basically. We can um, keep an eye on them, and if they start to overwhelm us, we can always fire up the antimatter. But also have the handy benefit of erasing the corpses. You know what? I think at this point we just do this anyway. I'm just going to assume that by the time this fires, the larger bulk of people will be in here. Which is maybe not entirely true. Oh well, I mean, what's the point of having big fancy space age weapons? Oh no, they're, they're pouring in now. I was going to say, what's the point of having big fancy space age weapons if you don't use them, right? So, zap. I mean, we made as many corpses as we erased at that moment, so there's that. Well, first group broken is fleeing, second group's getting shredded. They're fleeing out the kill box instead of through, which is great. I think that was the biggest density right there that we just blasted, so... I think we're pretty well done here. Reinforced concrete walls are sort of holding up, which is good. How's our ship doing? Well, we've got everything laid out. Uh, with the exception of one of the engines still needs to be placed. Uh, yep, just waiting on those components still. I've been trying to improve the glitter net. Uh, we've been putting research into glitter net. So we've got like improved processor. We've got uh, advanced integrators now, the best tier. We're just working on getting more processing put in and we're finishing up the research here on advanced. So we're probably gonna wait, put in an advanced one next. Um, so yeah, I assume with the processing being a little too high, we're just losing out on some like efficiency or something. That's something's just not being applied properly at that point. Um, so yeah, not a big deal. I guess these guys are taking a little bit of time to get in here, but this group is actually they'll probably these guys will probably just merge into the rest of their friends and come in about the same as if they had gone the same direction. Um, this group looks pretty thin though overall, I think. So I don't think this one's much of a threat. Oh, Mookie's back. Hey, Mookie. Um, you know what? Yeah, you go eat. That's fine. They didn't even get away from the entrance. Like, everybody just died as they came in. We'll keep the body blockers in there, I guess. That's fine. Yeah. We really didn't need to include this raid in this video, did we? Oh, well. I wonder how much damage we're going to do to our own walls now. Maybe we'll end up, yeah, 40%. Honestly, the, the loss of steel to the turrets and, like, damage to the walls is more of a threat than anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're not gonna achieve anything here. You guys can go. This is already over. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are they gonna try and flee through the kill box? No, no, they're just deciding where they're going. Okay. Well, they seem like they fled pretty early there, actually. It's kind of surprising. Stop shooting the walls, idiots. It's over. It's done. They left. Oops. You can go, you can sleep, and you can sleep. All right. Time for another kid. Hopefully the last kid of the run. Um, that's the hope here. Can we get in here? Uh, why don't we just go ahead and shrink down this little stockpile bit so that we can just like lock the door? Uh, who is involved here? You are with her who is busy playing games. Yeah, okay. Mookie, get this gun hauled out of that doorway for me so that I can lock everybody in when it's time for this so that they don't leave, probably. Uh, participating in childbirth. Wait, is he? Oh, he is participating. Oh, well, shit. He's just not in the room. I like how you can cancel childbirth. I don't... I don't know what the what the consequences of this are. Okay, well, fuck it. We won't lock the door then. Uh, we'll just leave it be. See what happens, I guess. I, I don't know why they left previously anyway, so it's probably fine. Another healthy baby. Baby, you are a female again. Oh my god. All of the babies are a female. Uh, I need a name for this one. It should be... How about Riley? That's uh, the blonde girl from season two of Sarah Connor Chronicles, right? My other computer will tell me well let's go with that name if the name is misspelled we'll fix it later um there you go okay uh and that is a you baby another one of these damn breeders breeding all their babies yeah riley dawson okay seems all right it's just a baby so not much else to uh consider with it in the midst of our Glitternet upgrades here at the very end, we got a growth moment for Catherine. Hold on, let's check this. Uh, grown up, come child, can do a bunch of work, blah, blah, blah. Special child size apparel. Yeah, so this was a new kid altogether. Um, so yeah, she doesn't get any traits, but she can now use a gun. That's what we're here for. We're here for giving children guns. Um... So, yeah, this is a biocoded Devastator still that's been up over here in this corner forever and has never been smelted for some reason, and I don't know why. Advanced Wasteland Rifle? Do we just have a spare Advanced Wasteland Rifle? Is that... We must have picked up a new one from one of the raids. Well, that's fucking perfect. Uh, this is your gun now. And then you can have um, some sort of mediocre hammer. If you can find one. You get that where are all my hammers there's a hammer do we have any other interesting weapons we picked up um well there's the bozar so the answer is no interestingly enough after the bozar the westinghouse is actually the next best weapon so it makes sense that the westinghouse is in rotation right now as opposed to the usual excuse of it being on theme and so keeping it in rotation even though it's you know, falling off a little bit. At least the RBS is, like, completely busted. Which is great, thematically. Let we get that big old classic Terminator 1 uh, plasma weapon. Like, based off of, uh, I believe it's based off, like, a old-school water-cooled uh, machine gun or some shit. Pretty neat. At this late hour, Purr has produced something extraordinary. Purr, I need you to put it down, though, so I can finish the bit why are you carrying it all the way down here per fuck it okay there you go he has produced the legendary plain leather kid pant wow 
another growth moment for another kid uh also i've been playing all goddamn day and this is crazy uh but yeah i think we're pretty much on track to end this episode with how things are progressing uh you are currently plants and mining you got some excellent excellent options here um but no passions so fast learner versus quick sleeper man which one's technically better i guess we'll do quick sleeper I'm not sure which one is which is works out better in practice. Optimus Quick Sleeper, uh, pretty good character there. Nice to see. Too bad it won't matter since, uh, yeah, the ship is pretty close. We're just waiting on like the last uh, two dozen advanced components so that we can blast off. Also, I like that I managed to make a ship that's actually symmetric for once in Rim World, which is almost impossible with the engines being three pieces wide. But this layout actually works so. Pretty pleased with that myself. Checking back in here. We've got our fab benches running at 227% work speed thanks to the overdrive processor glitter net. Uh, so yeah, this uses up any extra petaflops we're not using just for further efficiency. Uh, these guys take up only regular components, so they're pretty much worth building to accelerate production as long as we have a decent reserve of regular components. In fact, I think we could squeeze in one more of these pretty pretty freely. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it like this. Slight different angle. I think that's probably about the end because we don't want to slip over to making regular components. We've still got uh, two engines to finish, I believe. One and zero delivered. This one's completed, but unbuilt. And then we've got, yeah, maybe no advanced components of storage. Maybe there was one, no, none on the sidebar. So yeah, they they need to get that stuff done still. So yeah, we're not gonna get you know quite as much value. This is a relatively recent addition. Um, after a few, I started calling in trade caravans from our remaining ally to just buy components from them over and over again, and like steel and actually bought like toxic potatoes <laughs> which actually are perfectly edible when they're cooked um so we're keeping food afloat nicely and yeah we we burnt a bunch of goodwill just to do that so things are going good in the colony it's just a matter of you know time we would have uh maybe put in three benches really early with a really strong glitter net we might have been done by now i would bet but uh unfortunately didn't really bother expanding it until now. We've actually completed almost all the research for the glitter net just because I've been just queuing up new stuff at random essentially just to have Rena have something to do otherwise she has no work. Well it's done. The ship is complete. Fully ready to go. It's taken uh oh boy the better part of 10 hours almost to record this episode today. <laughs> it's been it's been a long run, uh, not in part due to the slowness of the game, of course. Uh, I mean, it is it is largely due to the slowness of the game. I might have missaid that. I'm going a bit insane. Um, but yeah, Perry has seen these people through to the space age. He's led his people to against rival humans and machine remnants, and we've come out of it. A combination of both. So I think it's time to start loading up. So let's get everybody going. We can, uh, oops. Uh, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Get in a pod and then purr get in a pod immediately afterwards. Uh, we should also make sure somebody puts the baby in a pod. Um, yeah. Brinchra, you're over here. Carry it a crypto sleep. Okay, where do, we, where do we leave off? Kubler, cutting stone blocks, reserved by Purr. Kubler. Daro, I think we skipped Nick. Yeah, Nick is cooking. Nick. Kirsten's going. French was doing the carrion. Nama. Faizo. Ariel. Now our people are... Going into stasis, uh, as complete as they can be. We still have dementia. We still have a body scar on Sev, but we actually did fix Sev's leg up by giving him a bionic. So he's not uh, he's not as miserable as he might have been. 
Oops, that one was reserved by Brintra. Shit. Brintra. Wait. <laughs> uh, keep keep carrying the baby to a crypto sleep casket. Uh, you're taking that one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's start from the back with the kids. Let's get these people off world. Find us a new world not tainted by the war against Skynet. About the nuclear fallout and pollution. Brintra, have you delivered that baby yet? Not yet. Still working on that baby. Okay, there you go. If you can get into one. Who's still left? Who's not who's not on the way? Perry, of course, is the last man to see it out. Codex. Codex is just sleeping. Uh Codex, hey, get over there, man. There's Codex going. Now we should uh well, the bots will wake up when Perry leaves anyway, because they'll sever connection with Perry, which uh, just causes them to wake up. There's some thrombos on the map. I didn't see any point in hunting the thrombos if we're all uh, heading out to the great beyond. I think that's it. I think it's just Perry, right? Let's check. Perry. Okay, there's Codex coming over. Rena, Kirsten. Nick. Kubler. Daro. Brintra. Dama, Baizo, Iriel, Dorgo, Mookie, Seb, Sarah, John, Grace, Janelle, Cameron, Kyle, Catherine, O'Reilly, and Per. Last, but very much not least, Perry. Taking the final casket. Wait, why does this one look different? Oh, this one's empty. Oh, that one contains Codex. Wait, Perry, stop. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Don't get in with Codex. You get your own casket. You don't have to hitch a ride, my dude. You built this place. You're good to go. Thank you, Cleaning Bot, for coming over to clean the area to see us off, I suppose. We could have had the bots standing at, like, attention to watch us go. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's very slow crawling over all these crypto sleep but crypto sleep caskets apparently all right and there we are crew's ready to go uh where do i launch i forget where i launch launch go let's do it we escape to the stars net is the end. Yep, there we go. All the mechs released. The base belongs to the mechs now. That is the end of the Terminator 2059 series. Maybe not as thematic as we might have hoped. Uh, the Androids mod actually did update near the end here, but adding it so late didn't really seem worthwhile. Only four deaths? I'm actually surprised that was only four deaths. I, I guess after we dropped the difficulty, things snowballed pretty quickly afterwards. We probably should have increased the difficulty much sooner. Oh well. Well, not sure what our next RimWorld series is going to be. I got, I got a mind on a few things to do with RimWorld. Um, not going to happen right away. We're going to be taking a little bit of time off of RimWorld just so I get some other stuff done. Uh, and life changes. I got a new job I'm starting, so starting up a new RimWorld series, which is always, you know, a 50 to 70 episode thing is just not well timed right now. Not while I'm still figuring out other stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave this one off here. Uh, at least we got to see the Mega Min in action, so there was that. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.